some ways it seems like camp flies by and some day, some ways it feels like it crawls like what was your sense of the time for camp and what's it like now to be kind of at the end yeah this was a this was definitely a taxing camp um and i say that in the best way possible right i think you know our preparation was was top notch um and the growth we've made since since you know coming into camp has been astronomical really um you know we're definitely feeling it uh you know feeling the <laughs> feeling the fatigue and stuff but um, you know, it was a really good camp, I think, for, for the whole team. What are your thoughts on Georgia and just what, what this game will be like opening up against a team like Georgia? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously, they're a really good team defending national champions. Um, but we also understand it's a different team um, than it was last year. Um, you know, we're, we're preparing, uh, you know, for them like we would any other team. Um, obviously, Coach, you know, Coach Lanning has a, a, a good beat on them and what they're going to do. Um, but we got it, you know, we got to go out there and, and stop it. And then our offense, um, you know, go create and, and make plays. You said that the team grew a lot during camp. Where, where was that growth at? What made you guys improve? Where did you improve? A lot of different areas. Um, I'd say like the, the growth um, in terms of connection, I'd say that happened a lot in the off season, in the summer um, and really accelerated into camp. Um, but I'd say, you know, as far as the playbook and um, moving fast and playing fast and understanding. I mean, this is a complicated defense, right? But we're, um, you know, we're, we put in so much work and, and you can definitely see that, at least on the defensive side of the ball, I can speak for that. We talked after the Ohio State game last year, you were on top of the world. How much do you hold on to that feeling and how much does that drive you to try and get back to that mountaintop going into a game like this? Yeah, um, I mean, these are, you know, big games, right? And you come in as the, the underdog. Um, you know, that always for me has been a, a I always embrace that mentality, right? The underdog mentality. So um, you feel like you, you, you rise to that occasion. But at the same time, I think with this defense and something that maybe we didn't do super well last year, um, I'd say playing level every game, right? Like improving every game and not just playing up to your competition. It can't just be this game that we get up for um, and, you know, be really, really hyped for this game. And then the next week, you know, take it easy because we think, you know, it's, a, it's not the, we got to treat every opponent the same. Um, and play our brand of football. Really. You've played some really great tight ends in your career. This one might be the best. What is it about Brock Bowers that makes him that good? Yeah, he's he's uh, he's definitely a special player. Um, you know, size, speed, hands, um, can block, got finesse. Um, he's, a, he's definitely a good player. Um, but, you know, I feel like we got really good players. I feel like we um, have the guys in the scheme that can um, – you know, I don't even want to say completely negate it or shut it down, but at least limit it, right, um, and, and work into our game plan to, to try and win this game. From your role in particular, Bennett, how do you just feel? I'm not asking you to give away anything, but something that any defense does, bracket coverage, just how do you feel about using that on a guy on a tight end in particular? Um, yeah, I, I don't think um, we're not gearing our whole game plan to stop him, right? They all got, they got a ton of threats. Um, and so we, we put in some, some different defenses and stuff uh, to give them different looks um, and potentially, you know, slow, slow their playmakers down. But um, as far as gearing a whole game plan towards it, I don't, you know, we're going to play our game. Do you feel back at home at Boundary? Um, yeah, I, I, I've been playing a lot of positions, um, even this week, just rotating at every different position, uh, being ready for whatever, you know, position coach wants me to play at. Um, I feel really comfortable everywhere, to be honest. And that's a testament to Coach and his staff, um, you know, getting me ready uh, to play wherever I need to play. You touched on that underdog mentality. Is that word talked about in the locker room at all? Do you just talk about that as a team, or does that give you any sense of extra motivation? You know, personally, yes. Um, as a team, I think we all embrace that, right? You know, playing up to a, a, a game like this, um, you know, first game of the year. And yeah, we've talked about it before, right? What the, what the, I mean, you see it on ESPN, you watch ESPN and this, the spread is what, like 18 points or whatever it is. Um, it's kind of clear, but we don't think that we're an underdog. I, I mean, as a team, I really don't believe it. Um, with the talent we have and the, the way we've been working, um, I, I really think we come out and execute, then it'll show on the field. Dan's been really heavy on play the game, not the occasion. We still all know what the occasion is. What do you have to do mentally over your travel days to make sure that you stay zoned in on the game instead of everything surrounding it? Yeah, um, it's big. It's a big one, and it's a it's 
you know, obviously coach returning that whole story. Right. Um, but it's, it's the first game. So I think for us, it's like, we got to get a feel as a team for what it's going to be like for the rest of the season for road trips. Right. It's not just, um, you know, this game that we're, we're, like you said, like, it's not the, it's not the occasion right here. I think we need to prep ourselves for, okay, this is how a, a travel trip is going to be. And this is how it's always going to be right. We got to go and it's a business trip and take care of business. Um, and so I think that's a, this is a great, you know, first opportunity to do that. I realized the issue with multi tight ends last year, Bennett happened a lot when you weren't available, particularly the Utah games, but you did play Arizona. You did play Stony Brook, even the FCS team where they've had a lot of 12 and 13 personnel gives yeah. you guys a lot of troubles at defense yeah. last year. This is going to be a 12 and at times 13 based offense. How confident are you that you guys have at least, I know it's a different scheme, it's a different staff, you know, lots of things, but yeah. solve the issues that were really problematic at times. I think you said it right there that it's a different different team and different staff um, and different defense. I mean, you know, I can't, I can't sit here and try and predict, you know, exactly how we're going to handle it, right? Um, but I'm, I'm confident. I'm really confident in, uh, in our defense and the way that we have prepared for this game and, and, you know, 12 and 13 big personnel, I guess, going forward. In preparing for Georgia, just how, how have you seen Stetson Bennett last year improve and over the course of his career when you guys looking at? Yeah, the kid's a, a gamer. He's, he's definitely, um, you know, pretty good. Um, we understand that just like any player really has, has, has his weaknesses, has his strengths. Um, you know we're gonna we're gonna do our best to to expose those weaknesses, right? Um, and and I think you know with our game plan uh, we can we can slow them down. Thanks, yeah, Thanks, appreciate you guys. Appreciate